A new Stanford study reveals how much ocean plastic is being eaten by the world's largest creatures. KPI X5's John Ramos takes a look at how nearly 10 million pieces of microplastic per day may be ending up in the bellies of blue whales in Monterey Bay. Creating plastic pollution can be as innocent as doing a load of laundry, throw some synthetic fabrics into the washing machine, and some of the fibers are going to get washed down the drain and out into the ocean. It is those tiny specks, barely visible to the human eye, that concerns Matt Savoca, an ocean pollution researcher at Stanford's Hopkins Marine Station in Pacific Grove. He was part of the study to find out how much of the fibers are getting into the whales. But the thing that surprised me is that there was no information out there from, from living animals, from living whales, as to how much water they filter or how much prey they eat. And that's, though, both of those things are absolutely critical to get at this question of how much plastic the whales are eating. So a group of researchers began following the large blue and humpback whales in Monterey Bay. They used drones and high-tech sensors to track the animals' movements and eating patterns. And they are truly world-class eaters. These whales eat hundreds of millions of tons, literally, of food in the ocean. That's more than our entire global marine fisheries catch for all the seafood that we eat. The blue whales ate more than all that. The study found that blue whales are consuming as much as 95 pounds of plastic each day, perhaps a billion pieces in the course of one feeding season. But much of that is coming from the whale's main food supply, the tiny sea creatures that are themselves ingesting plastics on a microscopic level. Another member of the research team, Dr. Ari Friedlander, says he was stunned by the contrast in scales. That, that step is really what is surprising, is that um, the smallest animals, these zooplankton um, and krill, these things that are eating very, very small particles, are getting enough in them that that can magnify in baleen whales to get these extraordinary numbers. That, it's, it's really amazing. But all of this is so new that no one really knows how it's affecting the whales, if at all. So far, the whale population worldwide is doing pretty well. But whether they will pay a future price for man's obsession with plastic is a question that has yet to be answered. I think if you have an animal like a whale, like a really charismatic animal that is ingesting a lot of this pollution, possibly could be affected by it. We don't know exactly how or to what degree that might galvanize people to say, you know what, um, we care about this and we're going to do something about it. In the East Bay, John Ramos, KPIX 5. The quantities of plastics being generated are staggering. Experts say half the plastic that has ever existed on Earth was made in the last 20 years. And each year, only 9% of plastic sold in the U.S. is recycled.